top of the morning everybody it is monday we are dealing with some sunshine today i wasn't going to bring you guys along today but i decided for this next project that i've got going this morning some of y'all may feel a little upset if i left you out uh, i started this morning i got the stuff this weekend and i finished trimming out the little garden shed there you can kind of see the top side on it it cleaned it up quite a bit Mama's got a lot of flowers that were gifted to her, plus she acquired some more this weekend, and my job is to plant them. And I ask where she wants them, and she says, surprise me, so. But here's a look at what we've got. All the greenery in the back were the uh, hydrangeas, the Japanese snowball, and of course that grapevine. I've gotta get those in the ground today. But then she's also, was gifted quite a few of the tulips. She's got orange and yellow and red and I don't know, I think there's like five different batches of tulips there. And then of course the daffodils. And now now you're gonna try to pronounce some of this other stuff and the pink and white daffodils. Uh, one of the Walmart bags there is full of irises that came from some irises that her mother had once upon a time. And I've got a surprise her with where those are going the little purple guys here and the little pink ones I'm not even gonna pronounce but I'm ready to get them out of the house they're a little too much for me inside the house uh, the hydrangeas are gonna require a little bit of chainsaw work uh, she's wanting to plant those in beside the greenhouse that does not exist yet and I've got an idea of where the greenhouse is going but just knowing where the greenhouse goes means more than likely it's probably covered in trees. So I've got to get in there and do a little bit of thinning. It's a lot of small stuff, little three inch pines and stuff like that where we're wanting to put the greenhouse up here next to the garden. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of knock that area down today and clear it and get the hydrangeas planted. And that's actually gonna force me to stick to the size of the greenhouse that we're gonna build because I'll have to move the hydrangeas if not. So you'll probably see a video in a few months of me moving hydrangeas because we changed our mind on the greenhouse. But for now, hopefully it can stay like we want it to because we're thinking in the neighborhood of like a 12 by 16 or so for the greenhouse. So it's not gonna be too big because we're wanting to build it out of the old windows that we've been collecting. We missed the other day on 13 huge old wood windows by like an hour or so is what it is, those weren't meant to be. Uh, she'll steadily look and we'll acquire them as we find them. But those hydrangeas will be placed on either side of that. So I'll have to clear that area. And then I think the two telephone poles coming in through the driveway is gonna get a mixture of the tulips and daffodils and stuff like that. I just gotta come up with what's gonna work best to cover around those two. And then they'll get a little bit of a edge dressing of some rocks or something. So we have plenty of those around here. But I figured you guys might get a little upset at me if I plant all these and I'll leave you out. Uh, it was great to get the lean-to done this weekend. We did not get anything moved into it. By the time we finished it up, it was time to go get grandbaby. And the rest of the time was spent with him. So that was the end of that. But I've got all week. It looks like the weatherman's kind of wrong so far. It looks like we do have rain coming in this evening, but it's just going to be an overnight rain. Should be gone in the morning. Uh, so that's going to give me tomorrow, and I think there was a chance of rain Wednesday, maybe Thursday of this week. But it all changes so often. Nobody can keep up with it. But for today, we got sunshine. Uh, I think we were supposed to get into the low 60s. But let's jump on planting around these power poles and get these flowers done and then when we get to the hydrangeas I'm gonna have to pause out and grab a chainsaw and get everything cleared where I want it and then I can figure out where to plant these guys to make sure they're getting plenty of sun so let's get after it Miss B did her best to help. Are you gonna guard it now? Now then I've split the flowers into two piles, fairly even. So now I just gotta kinda figure out an arrangement to go around these telephone poles.
go. One somewhat wilty electric pole. A little bit of sun today. Maybe they'll adjust to their home fairly quickly and stand back up and then we'll have to get some kind of little border around them. Now to move down here and do the next one. And there we have another pile of flowers. I guess it's time to clear out for the greenhouse so that we can start getting ready for the other potted flowers. Somebody heard me talking. They get jealous quick. How you doing, baby? Did you come to see what's going on? I thought you were napping. Are you working hard today? Doesn't look like it. You come to check out the flowers now if the wind will stop for a moment I will give you an idea about where this greenhouse is going you can see the shed all the way down there that's the one we just put the lean-to on the back of and then the house foundation is right beside it and of course the travel trailers right there the garden shed and the garden and then straight in line with the garden right back in here where you see this tiny little pine thicket if i can get this to lock down right behind the post hole diggers there is the plan for this small greenhouse and we're thinking 12 by 16 i think i said that a while ago the water line actually runs just in front of the post hole diggers there so eventually it will be very simple for me to run a water line in and have water in the greenhouse which will be extremely handy. I don't have to worry about running another hose from the one that I put up at the garden over here. You can see a little bit of a colorful box right in there. That's where the bee box is. And of course, these are the fruit trees. There's one here. It's hard to see those cages, or it is for me. There's another one right in there somewhere. In my dirty, nasty hands. And then, of course, there's one power pole where we just planted a bunch of flowers that goes in circles around and goes out the driveway. So this will basically be the highlight as you come in the driveway. This little greenhouse will be the first thing that stares you in the face before you turn and circle around to see the house. This wind's horrible today. I was wanting to start a fire, but I looked at the forecast and decided that was a bad idea. So... These little guys are going to get piled up and I'll get a new brush pile over here that I'll get to burn eventually. But I'm going to cut these off probably about waist high. That way I can get a hold of them with the truck. I've got one of those little stump grabber deals that I can hook to my truck and then I should be able to pull these little stumps out real easily. That way I'm not dealing with those with the greenhouse. So I'm going to cut them off really high. That way I've got some leverage to be able to get a hold of them and pull them out. But I gotta go fuel up a chainsaw and I'll be back in a moment and start whittling these out.
keep going the same direction. So. It's dogs. Me. Me. The big emergency was to bring me to see dogs. I guess she doesn't like them or trust them because she's usually friendly. How did I get through this mess? She's usually very friendly with other dogs, but she apparently doesn't like them. But I'd be better off dragging brush and trying to figure out my way through this creek with my feet staying dry. But I guess she's pretty worried about them coming up here. I hadn't seen those two before, so I don't know where they came from. We got a pretty bad problem with stray dogs coming up around here. modeling off the greenhouse for you there that's kind of my rough guess idea as to where that's gonna sit that will put the front pretty much in line with the front of the garden fence and I went 16 foot across 12 foot deep I want to do a flat lean-to style roof on it that way I can trap all the heat down in the building that I can. That way I'm not doing the A-frame and losing that space that the heat can escape to. Uh, I think we've got plans for a rock floor that will allow all those rocks to heat up during the day and help to radiate the heat off at night and then I'm sure it'll probably have a wood stove in it as well. But that's down the road. I'm just, this is busy work. He seems to like it. You think that's your new doghouse? That's on the list too, but not for you. And then my purpose of leaving from the corner here to the corner of the garden, I left 40 foot in the event that we ever do a high tunnel, that'll give us a perfect place for the high tunnel right here also. Or an additional 40 foot of garden that could come this way. Either way, I just wanted a little bit more space there for future Lord knows what. So, back to thinning trees. I need to take the rest to this big pine here and kind of come in around behind B and finish all this little stuff and even all this little stuff over here. I don't know if I'll get it all today, 
but I'll get enough out of there to get her plants planted which she wanted off of the corners of the greenhouse so they'll land out here somewhere I just gotta get the trees out of the way that may land on those before I plant them This one will be a pink hydrangea. This is the first one going in. This is the blue hydrangea. And a Japanese snowball that my wife picked up thinking it was a white hydrangea. Very hard working dog. Are you still be breathing, B? B? Hey, B? Okay. <laughs> and right in here, we're going to put these irises. Now that I freed up these pots here, I've got some stuff inside that needed to be up potted. So I'm going to take care of that now. And just like that, one aloe vera turned into five. I've got this little guy I put in this pot, and then I got two in this other pot over here. Got this guy up potted, put this one back in the pot that the big one was in, give them all a chance to spread their roots a little bit and grow out. I've got a bunch of tomatoes and stuff like that in there I need to up pot. I'm just, I think I'm potted out for the day. It's, uh, tired. That's all there is to it. I'm just tired. But I think that's all I've got for today. And we will catch you guys on the next one.